guys, this is Little Lizzie. Um, this is a review of the teaching textbooks um, subscription 3.0, Math 5. I am on lesson 27. We're showing you what the lecture is like. Major Zap, the crime fighting hero, drinks six protein shakes a day. How many protein shakes will he drink during a week? Okay, so that is part of the lecture, and then it's going to explain to you how to do this. And sometimes the lecture is interactive. Then over here, we've got the 2.0 subscription, which is just the paper book. And it's basically, it's the exact same as the 3.0. And it just has the exact same questions, just paper and not screen. So, shall we get started? Alrighty, let's continue the lecture. So, lecture. Six protein shakes a day. How many protein shakes will he drink during a whole week, which is seven days? The best way to do problems like this is to try to see in your head what's actually going on. We know that on the first day of the week, Major Zap will drink six shakes. Then on the second day, he'll drink another six shakes. On the third day, he'll drink another six shakes, and he'll keep drinking shakes for a total of seven days. So what we're really doing here is trying to figure out what six, the number six, added to itself seven times is equal to. So it's the same as six times seven. So this is how we do this. And then, so I'm going to also show you, oops, okay. Now I'm going to show you guys a couple of our, so we've also got practice A, B, C, D, and E. So this is the kind of, um, you know, questions it gives. And in earlier lessons, see it says first taught in lesson 17. So in lesson 17, this is what the lecture was about. It's about Roman numerals. So basically, it's a pretty, pretty easy way to learn your math. And you can teach it to yourself. And um, it also comes with an answer booklet, which is really nice. So let's look at the problems. To tell what number LXXXV represents. That's Roman numerals. And you also get hints, but um, normally I don't really click them because, well, I just don't normally click them. <laughs> okay, so let's look at a couple more problems and then we'll try answering some. So, let's go down. Problem three, let's look at that. To rewrite nine times four. Nine times four. The same number added to itself over and over. Okay, so how we do this is you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's 9 boxes, and I'm guessing we're going to have to take the 4, put them all into the boxes. Because 9 times 4, 4 plus 4 plus 4, four plus, just 4 plus 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 4. Bingo. So, there we go. We got that correct so and you can also see how to do it so let's see how to do it okay we need to rewrite nine times four as the same number added to itself over and over again and remember the way we do this is to think about nine times four as nine times the number four so we're going to have the number four added to itself nine times so four plus 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 four and that's our answer for problem three. Very nice. Okay. So how about we go back to problem one? You need to tell what number LXXXV represents. So if you guys do know your Roman numerals, then you're going to learn some right now. So it's pretty easy if you remember it. So V is 5, X is 10, L is 50. And that's pretty much all we need to know for this problem. So that's 50. So we're just going to remember that 50. So we'll just hover over that 50. So now I just need to figure out all of this. So x, x, x. Hmm, what could that be? Oh, and I also forgot to tell you that um, I is one so we've got no ones in this so 50 remember that's 50 and x you guys remember what x is 
Yes, x is 10. So, we got 80 because if we have three tens and 150, that is 80. Plus a five, which is going to give us 85. So, we'll go down and we'll enter our answer, 85. Excellent. Nice, two out of two. Alrighty, now shall we try problem two? You need to write the Roman numeral for 2,250. Oh, okay. So now we're getting into the, to the higher stuff. So, you guys need to know, C is 100, M is 1,000, and of course you already know that L is 50. So, I'm thinking, what do you guys think, huh? I'm thinking it's going to be M, M, and then C, C, and then L. M, M, C, C, L, L. What do you guys think? My, oh my. You yeah, you got it right. Ribbon for that one. Okay, so this is Teaching Textbooks, and thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to visit my blog, littlelizzylife.com. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye, guys.